Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Roger Eastlick, and in this video series entitled Web Hosting Basics, I'm going to explain to you how you set up a website on a, on a host. So there's basically two things that you need. You need, uh, you need a domain name, which is something we're going to talk about in this video. And you also need a hosting company and then since we're going to use a different name domain name registrar than we are a hosting company I'm going to show you how to point your domain name to the hosting company so that when people type in your domain name they're going to come to your website at your hosting company very easy after that there's another video series that tells you how to install WordPress on that site and so you can get going and actually put up a site. So that's a separate series called WordPress for Beginners. In this series and in this video, let's start out and uh, let's talk about how to choose a great domain name. So this is, I've uh, done this in reverse order just to have a little bit of fun. So tip number five, there's five tips and tip number five on how to choose a great domain name is make it easy to spell. So, for example, if you have the name DoubleEasyExpress.com, I just made it up, you've got double ends with an E and easy starts with an E, so you've got that EE -E going on or double vowels, and that can be confusing for people to write, right? They don't know if they wrote one or two and they're typing really fast. And So if you really need to use double consonants because, let's say, your business name has two, two letters together, like this then go ahead and use it but you also probably should buy the misspelled version of it with the single vowel and then just point that to the original main website and then you'd be good to go okay so another example is Susie's Sandals Shop again um, sort of exaggerated name just to show you how the S's go together and that can cause problems okay tip number four for how to how to find a a great domain name for your business website number four make it memorable so here I have a couple domain names here thesis theme magic.com thesis theme of course being the theme framework for that works on WordPress and magic because thesis theme.com was already taken and I needed something that would be more memorable it should have said thesis theme stuff but magic, of course, kind of has that magical quality to it. Oh, everybody loves magic or secrets or stuff like that. Another example, don'tmindyourfood.com. That's really a domain name I actually registered and use. And that basically is a play on words, of course. On one hand, don't mind your food, meaning don't think about your food, so you eat less. On the other hand, don't mind your food, don't let it bother you what you eat. Fast food French has alliteration to it. Go to underwear is kind of a play on the go to meeting, go to webinar, go to training series by Citrix, and their whole idea that they make it possible for you to sit around in your undies and do business, and nobody really knows about it, and you're really comfortable. So go to underwear.com. The next tip number three use descriptive keywords so for example in my domain name business website ceo.com i've got the dom i've got the keywords business website which makes it better for google to pick up on it i also have the shortened domain name bwceo.com so that people can uh, save some typing but those but using descriptive keywords is very important i think oxford shoes of course has oxford and shoes the location oxford uh, and, and then the shoes the keyword of shoes and long arm security kind of a joke but it has the word security in it and long arm kind of is somewhat memorable right descriptive and descriptive N uh, tip number two tip number two is keep it short so what you wouldn't want to have, for example, is shoes dash and dash socks and dash and dash other dash stuff dot com. That's kind of long. Um, want to try to avoid something like that. PSD Genesis, on the other hand, is quite short and easy to remember. So keep it short. And has anybody guessed what the number one tip for finding a great domain name is? Well, if you did. If you said use your business name, you would have won. 
okay so if your name is odd job disposal if you the company name is odd job disposal dot com or odd job disposal for example then you'd want to go ahead and use odd job disposal dot com if it's available um, sometimes you have to put a co or an ink after it to get that but it's good to have your business name in there very important since you've already established a presence and customers know how to get to you by that name they're going to look for it redoxtavern dot com is another example so hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, please do uh, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and share this video on social media. In the next video, we're going to show you how to register that domain name that you've chosen. This is Roger Eastlick. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.